What's cracking, guys? Omar Esau here, back with another video. This is a shorter video today. Once again, we're talking about squats. Else, what number of video are we on here for squats? 69. 69, really, bro? You're gonna go there? I expect a little bit more maturity. But we are on number 69 today. Uh, we're talking about squats. This is a very common question. I get something I haven't quite addressed, and that is the forward lean on the squat. What's acceptable? I want to talk today in particular about the descending portion of the squat only. Why? Well, I've already addressed that issue. If your hips rise early out of the squat, what is it? Well, you're usually running away from something. You're running away from weaker quads. So if you go into the hole and you're, let's say, pretty damn upright and then after uh, the hole, you try and push out, your hips just shoot really far back and it kind of looks like a good morning, that's most likely a quad weakness. What we're talking about is something that most people observe and that is as you increase the load, so as you get heavier and heavier in your squat, so say you go from 80% your your one rep max to 90% to 100%, your torso angle as you descend into the hole, the bottom position, it becomes more inclined, it becomes more horizontal, let's say. So instead of being more upright, you lean a little bit further forward. This can be intentional, it can also uh, be something your body's just doing. Is this okay? And the short answer is yes. And that is because, and this is the greater message overall of this video and it relates to the squat bench and deadlift, is that your technique isn't static. Depending upon the weight you use, your technique will change. It's not a one-size-fits-all. It's the same idea with the deadlift. Your back, your thoracic area, your mid-back might not round until you approach 90% or 100%, but a small degree of thoracic rounding on the deadlift is acceptable. But you'll only see that only exhibit itself once again at heavier loads. I got to give respect, shout out to Bryce Lewis because I saw him post about this. I believe it was Chris Beardsley of uh, Strength and Conditioning Research that first talked about this study. This is something very cool. They took a look at bodybuilders. They made them squat two parallel. They made them do 80%, 90%, and 100%, and they wanted to see what up, what muscles are going to be activated as they continue to lift the weight, and how's the squat going to look. And the big thing that they noted is that their hip angle changed pretty dramatically. They leaned a little bit further forward as the weight got heavier. Not only that, but they also noted things we would expect. As the weight got heavier, they would uh, feel an increased activation in their quads. They would note that they would also see an increased activation in their glutes. But what's interesting, in the descending phase, they also saw, and only in the descending phase, an increased activation in their lower back, in their erectors. And again, this is perfectly acceptable. When the weight gets heavy, your body's going to try and figure out a way in order to lift the weight. This isn't saying that having a more inclined torso throughout the movement or regardless of weight or that everyone should be further forward on the back squat. That's not saying that at all. What it is saying is as the load gets heavier, your body will figure out a way to lift the weight. And this is something that's acceptable, it's something that's normal, it's something to be expected. I've noticed this across the board, both myself and top level lifters, people that squat very upright, that when the weight gets a little bit heavier, what you'll see is that when they descend into their hole, the, into the hole, I should say, into their hole, in, into, the, into the sunken place, if anyone's seen the movie Get Out. What you'll notice is that their torso, once again, changes ever so slightly. So first attempt looks one way, second attempt pretty much the same. Third attempt, when the weight gets heavy, you're going for 100% of your one rep max, you're going for a max attempt. Yeah, it's going to change a little bit. And this, once again, is acceptable. So let's make the distinction here quickly. There's a difference between a good morning squat, so squatting one way all the way down and then your hips just shoot up. That's a result of weak quads. You changing the angle of your squat into the hole as the weight gets heavier, normal to be expected. How much? Well, a slight degree. I'll have some videos of myself demonstrating me uh, to give you a visual aid, but just note that this is a common occurrence and you shouldn't worry about it. Sometimes on this channel, we like to focus on technique, trying to get better, trying to get stronger, but some details aren't so important. This is one of them. Squat, squat the weight, squat however you can to lift the most amount of weight in a safe fashion. Guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. Else, what are we going for? Give me a number. 12 likes. 12,000 12, likes. 12,000 likes. Yeah. Are you going to ever give a realistic number? Never. If you like the video, like the video. Thank you so much for watching. Check back tomorrow. We'll have more content, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace.